about a, I usually give them at least a year and a half to two years before we're going to do it. Um, we look through it and we start designing a set in our head. For me, about six months out, I'll start drawing things on paper. Um, I try to draw them to scale. I'm not an artist or an architect, but um, I enjoy that. So I'll um, start doing that and start getting my sets um, kind of sketched out because I obviously won't be doing all the work myself. So the most important part is can you communicate to the guys and gals that are swinging hammers and painting and building and creating. So I try to get as much on paper as I possibly can. And I think about things like um, the limitations of our theater. So I try to think of scope and size and magnitude and lumber and cost and all of those things while still trying to create the illusion of what I want. Um, I think of also flow so that as scenes are changing, I don't have these long changes in between, but that things will um, ebb and flow very, very quickly. Um, so I think about what am I going to fly, what am I going to roll in that's going to transition as quickly as we possibly can. So um, we think about how many bars we have, so moving front to back or back to front, and um, just making those transitions as easy as we possibly can. Um, setting things like a black curtain or a black scrim so that you can bring that down um, in the middle of the scene and set it, reset the scene behind it, and then um, when it comes up, you're ready to go for the next scene. So start thinking about things like that. So I kind of get my plot together and some drawings together. I look at the fly plot. I try to list what do we have up there now, what do I want up there, and then sort of a change sequence of how we're going to do that for set construction. So I try to go into the first day of set construction with a pretty good plan. Um, pictures off the internet, like for this play I did, you know, this is what I want my brick to look like, this is what I want my rock to look like, this is what I want my wood to look like, you know, and I tried to find examples of things that I wanted that I could hand people and say, try to make it look like this. And um, that was really helpful, so I tried to download pics. Um, and that's just kind of the process that I, I use. And I start way in advance because it does, I go through several revisions before I have something that I think is going to translate to this audience in this theater and that's going to transition very quickly. Because I don't think our audience likes to move. <laughs> well, I have some really awesome people that I've known. I've been down here almost 20 years and I just have some awesomely cool people like Mike McMillan who does a lot of building. My brother Gary Johnson is a builder and so I can always ask him to do a project. Um, Rhonda Wilson is one of my very good friends and she's great at giving her an idea and then creating something and um, recently I've, I've gotten to know Kevin Hacker and he's been great too in, in being able to build. Um, Joe Licati is another um, member I've known for several years that can just uh, take a specialty piece and build it. Um, we used to have a man named Larry Walling that used to do that for me all the time. And Joe's kind of that guy now. Um, Larry has passed away. And um, Joe's kind of um, stepped up and taken that place, which has been really sweet. Um, and so I have some go-to people. And again, with pictures and conversations, I'm able to say this is what I want, measurements, draw it out, and then pretty much I give them a deadline and then they work and it's done. Like, you know, by the deadline. So some of the people I just mentioned are, um, they're not in the play. So they are people that just come down and they offer to work that side of a production. But most of the labor, not the design, but the labor is done by the cast and the crew that works on the show. So for my shows, I usually set up my set construction shifts at about two and a half hours. And then my cast and crew is required to sign up for a certain number of shifts. So for this cast, it was three shifts. So all my cast and crew signed up for three shifts. Plus, I have my standard people that this is all they do is help me build.